Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Uh, we are going to be doing our Lovers in Separation. So this is a collective reading for those lovers that are in separation, twin flames, soulmates, or just love interests. If you're separated from your person, this read is for you. It is uh, valid the minute that you uh, uh, make it to your awareness. So once you're aware of this reading, this is for you. Uh, let's see what the cards have uh, for today for those lovers in separation. And for today is my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing right and so uh spirit is reminding you that although you may be separated in uh, the now moment uh you two are still together in spirit uh, so you know this is a separation reading so this uh, should resonate with people uh, just remember though this is a general readings for the collective please like follow share subscribe and interact with the channel so that I can pull in the energies required to read your specific story and reach out if you're looking for your own uh, personal reading. So with that, let's take a look at the energies for today. And for those asking questions, uh, I don't have time today to do questions. Uh, however, if you do show up uh, generally on Sundays and some evenings, if you have notifications uh, turned on, I can uh, answer some questions for people or reach out for a reading. Uh, so with that, let's see what else we have in the energies of love uh, for the collective and separation right now. So spirit, spirit says, let love show you the way. Cherish what relationships you do have, even if it's not a loved one at this point. There is a bond uh, that you need to notice, and it's going to grow stronger over time. With enlightenment, we recognize that there is no separation. We recognize we are one with the divine. And this goes with this one right here, my beloved. We're never physically separated. Right? So we're going to stick it right there. It's just this reminder. Both of these two are saying, although you may be separated, you're truly not. And a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts. So there is some union energy, the uh, next level commitment. That's what the marriage card generally means. So that energy seems to be available to uh, certain people uh, within the collective. And let's take a look at what other love energies we have for today. Spirit, what other love energies do you have for us today? Love energies for the collective. One more chord, please, Spirit. All right. So many of you are going to be manifesting that one, right? Person coming in, you're going to have to give the benefit of the doubt. Uh, this is a healing connection. You will be falling in love. And we get a twin flame union. So we have two confirmations here of union. So let's see what other uh, energies uh, for this connection, this uh, potential uh, want to come out for today. So Spirit, let's see what other energies uh, you want to give us uh, within this connection, this connection uh, that is in separation right now. But if we look at it, this side is really weighted. So Spirit, what else do you want to tell us about the potential, this energy for that connection? So we just got a Spirit just slapped a whole bunch of cards here. And let's see what we got. All right, so first thing Spirit is saying is time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So a lot of you are worried that you've been... Uh, alone for so long you've been separated for too long that nothing's going to happen you're unsatisfied i wasn't happy the way things were going right and that's why you're in separation because things weren't going the right way and you feel really broken and shattered about this you let your pride get in the way of the connection but you want to fix that connection and you wish you could right your wrongs and Spirit's saying that, you know, this time alone, this is 
your reflection to gain clarity. So if you haven't had that time alone, if you haven't really gone in and reflected, uh, this is your chance. This is spirit telling you, come on, let's go get moving because there's so much here. And why? Because uh, there's a new chapter that's that's coming through, right? And uh, so for some of you that may be moving on from this old energy, for some of you, this is what's coming coming through. So let's see what it is uh, that's blocking uh, your connection in love uh, for this uh, moment. Let's see what the blocking energies are. And just remember, this is a general reading. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you are looking for your own reading, one that's more personally aligned uh, with your energies, uh, please do reach out. I do do personal readings. So with that, let's... See what other energies is there. So Spirit's given us a couple energies here. Let's see what we have. So Spirit's saying many of you are settling, right? You're staying with somebody who isn't right for you just because it's safe. And why is that, right? We we will we'll put up with just about anything because we're afraid to be alone. And why are we afraid to be alone? Because we don't really like ourselves. And because we don't really like ourselves, that alone time is a scary time because that means we have to sit with ourselves and be with ourselves and we're angry we're lonely we're sad we don't like what we've become or how we've become and so spirit saying stop settling stop putting yourself into that trauma cycle because this is what i call the hamster wheel of karma right here on this side of the reading this side is the bridge of how do i get from the hamster wheel of karma over to the better experiences and this is all the energies that are available to us and this is you in the center right your, these are all the energies that are available to you at any point, and any choice point can put you on this side or on this side. And here's the the edges right here, kind of the bridges that allow you to go from here or here or back over to here. And the last thing here we have is judgment, right? Don't be too, too quick to count somebody out. Be open and fair and give them a chance. A lot of you people put people into the friend zone. Why? Because they're, they're not super exciting. And why are they not super exciting? Because... They don't pull the drama out of you, and you are addicted to the drama. You're addicted to that adrenaline rush of that person who's going to keep you on edge. And why do they keep you on edge? Because they're not really right for you. They're keeping you in confusion, and confusion and illusion is what brings you back to the hamster wheel of karma. So Spirit's saying, try not to be so judgy, and try to see a person for who they are, not try to feel that adrenaline rush of drama and so with that let's get some uh, cards from our higher self let's see what our higher self wants to say give us some advice uh, in this situation this situation of separation how do we get out of that separation out of that hamster wheel of karma energies over here and get into these beautiful energies that seem to be available for us the so spirit what is the message for today for people watching this well we've got a whole bunch of them from uh usually higher self doesn't give that many cards but let's see what uh, the higher self wants to say seems like it's got a got a lot to say today so we have be patient trust the weight everything is coming together so spirit saying you know don't worry it's you know, you, you haven't really uh shot yourself in the foot uh things are coming uh, you're still in the game, so to speak. And Spirit's saying, challenge yourself to be stronger than your challenges. Everyone you, need, you meet is another part of you that wants to be loved. And why is that saying that? Because a lot of times we're, because we're all manifesting our own reality and everybody that you meet that kind of maybe ticks you off or whatever is a trigger that's something to show you in yourself that something that needs to be healed and you need to look into that and then you need to uh, heal it and answers appear when you release the question so when you stop questioning what it is and you start seeing and observing uh, you're going to start to get those answers uh and uh, spirit saying you've reached a new level and a new land to be discovered there's something for you there and spirit saying don't be afraid to keep moving keep walking through those doors even though they're unknown uh, because there's something there for you to learn and you to heal you're a beacon for others to follow so don't hide the bright light you are 
And so spirit is, is saying, you know, start falling in love with yourself, seeing your own light. And as you see your own light, uh, everybody else will as well. And so now let's get to the part that everybody wants to know when, 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 why, 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 how, 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 right? Uh, let's go to the timing question, right? Everybody wants to know when will this come in for me? I've been waiting. I've been healing. I've been doing all this work. And yet I don't see any uh, viable results. Why is that? And so let's, you know, let's look into it. So we can't ask the why, uh, but we can say the when. And when we ask the when, when is it possible? Because nothing is set in stone. It is only a potential for something to happen. And every time you change a decision or heal something, uh, timelines change. So with that, let's look at timing, spirit. Okay. So for a lot of you, it's going to be next summer. Summer's around the corner here. And time will bring a surprise. So uh, for all those watching, uh, this is my reading for today. Uh, looks like summer is the summer of love. And uh, please reach out if you're looking for your own personal reading. Uh, please like, follow, share, subscribe. Uh, donations are wonderfully accepted but not required. And uh, have a great day. Cheers.